It's so good to be here in South Carolina. We can accomplish everything here at this university. Here it is, the best opening in college football. How we doing? Good. Welcome back. Hello and welcome to Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer. This is our preseason show as the Gamecocks are less than a week away from taking on Old Dominion in the season opener at williams Bryce Stadium. Welcome everybody. Coach, good to be with you again. Here we go. Uh, you were very clear in the offseason that you were disappointed. In fact, you said it was unacceptable for the team to not be bowl eligible. How did the team do in the offseason, in summer camp, and in preseason camp in responding to that challenge? Yeah, couldn't be more pleased with the way they have responded. We've had a great uh, offseason. You talk about going all the way back to January to where we are now. Uh, couldn't be more pleased with the way that this team has come together. Uh, we've got a lot of older players that are returning for at least year four in this program. Uh, they've invested a lot into this program, the new players that we've brought into this program. It's been a great, um, it's been a great eight months and eager to play on uh, Saturday. Well, you took some steps as well in the offseason. You brought in some serious coaches, uh, some resumes we're familiar with, some that are substantial. It's always tenuous, though, trying to blend those two things together. Team, new staff, mm -hmm. how's that going? Really well. Uh, love the new additions. Uh, there's no question uh, that we've gotten better as a program, without a doubt. Uh, excited about being able to bring Sean Elliott back to coach our tight ends and be our run game coordinator. Mike Furry, our new receivers coach, has been awesome. Mark Well, Blackwell, our uh, running backs coach, Joe D. Camillus, coaching special teams to be able to add a coaching veteran like Mike Shula, former SEC head coach, to our staff has, has really been uh, good for us. So excited about the new guys, excited about the way they've uh, joined our program and made us better and eager to uh, get to work with them on Saturday as well. Coach, last year, two position groups were decimated by injuries, particularly some in the preseason. That would be an offensive line and linebackers. On our Prisma Health Injury Report, please tell me that the football gods have been easier to us in the preseason so far. They have been. I'm going to knock yeah, on wood right here. Would. But no, they have been. We were, we were looking at it last weekend before our last scrimmage. On that scrimmage last year, we had 11 players that weren't participating in the scrimmage that had been healthy at the beginning of the preseason. Fast forward to this year, and in our last scrimmage, we had two that didn't participate that had been healthy at the beginning of the preseason. So kudos to our players, kudos to Clint Haggard and our training staff, Luke Day, Yemi Rodriguez in nutrition, Luke in strength and conditioning. We're in good, uh, as good a shape as we can be from that standpoint. Um, you know, as far as uh, short-term injuries right now, Aaron Parks, one of our new offensive linemen that transferred in from Oklahoma, I would say he's doubtful for the Old Dominion game. Uh, but outside of that, you know, we're in pretty good, pretty good shape right now from an injury standpoint, and, and now we need to uh, stay that way. I may knock on wood as well after <laughs> that, too. That's our Prisma Health Injury Report. When we come back on Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer, we'll take a look at our docuseries, The Story. We'll look back this time on the offseason for Gamecock Football. Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Hey Gamecocks, it's Coach Beamer. Welcome to the Prisma Health Sports Medicine Center. Let's take a look. Inside the Prisma Health Sports Medicine Center, we've got everything to ensure that our players are as healthy as possible when they step on the field. Along with our athletic training staff, we have Prisma Health doctors in here every day caring for our guys and making sure they are ready to return to play. To learn more about Prisma Health and how you can get this same level of elite care, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks.
What does farm to table mean to you? Fresher, tastier food? Sitting down with family and friends at local restaurants? Sure, but thanks to South Carolina farmers and chefs, you can enjoy farm to table anywhere. That's because when you buy certified SC, you're supporting South Carolina farmers and getting locally grown food that's perfect for whatever table. So choose local, choose fresh. It's a matter of taste. Southern Way Catering is the official partner of South Carolina Athletics for special events in williams Bryce Stadium. Book your next event with Southern Way and experience unparalleled hospitality. To tour one of our new premium spaces, call 803-783-1061 or visit the website at thesouthernway.com. Good. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good, good. All right, last player today is Rocket Sanders. Rocket, uh, about an hour ago, was named to the Doak Walker watch list. No surprise there. When you're actually in a practice in contact, is that just kind of like riding a bike? Do you have to kind of learn to trust that again? Or what's kind of the mental process like of recovering from an injury? Now, when I throw pads on, I wasn't even actually nervous. That's what I thought I would be. Um, I feel like when it came down to, you know, getting back in the routine and, you know, uh, just hand, doing handoffs with the quarterbacks and just getting back in that rhythm, I feel like that helped me out. And I feel like we did a lot of stuff in the summer for me to be prepared for fall camp. strong culture and that starts right from the top. Ah, uh, South Carolina might be the one. See, I'm a morning guy. <laughs> At first, I wasn't a morning guy. I wasn't a breakfast guy. It changed. You got plans to go somewhere in life. You gotta have a routine, you know what I mean, and figure out what you want in life. And I feel like that, that plays a part just by having a routine. Yeah, now nah, he's sweating for sure. Yeah, now nah, he's sweating for sure. Now nah, I should be having him doing some stuff that we be doing in workouts. He had him doing some crawling, a little bit of everything. <laughs> Talk about that summer. <laughs> Talking about that bite too. Oh, yeah. That bite. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he the guy. He the real guy. Hey. He the real guy. Like when I got here in the summer, not even like early in the summer actually. I got here in January, but I always come in the morning with Chip. You know, starting in January, but in the summer. He used to work <laughs> coach out before I came in. So every time I saw, every time I come in, I see him tired or on a bike. And then I look at Chip, he'd be like, that's what you got today. <laughs> so it was like, it's actually cool seeing a head coach work out heavy. I feel comfortable around here, you know what I mean? I feel like just family, it's big family here. And I, I feel like this a great pick, I feel like when it came down to me getting out of the, tra or getting in the transfer portal. But they're all people, okay? And they're somebody's children, all right? So you got to do the best you can for them, no matter who they are. I'm talking to every single guy every day, okay? Um, and, and sometimes it might be out there in a the hallway just stopping them and saying, hey, how are you doing today? Or what's going on? How are you? You know, sometimes it might be in here where I'm actually spending an hour one-on-one -on -one with them. You're doing a medical evaluation on them, okay? Just like when anybody else goes to the doctor, okay? So we're doing that on the guy, all right, when they get hurt, okay? But a big part of it too is knowing the guy. You say you got an injury on a guy, okay? On paper, it might be a four week injury, all right? Well, some guy might come back in two weeks. 
Some guy it might take him six weeks, you know? And that's the part of, like I said, talking to the guys every single day so that you know them and you know how they respond to things. I'd say on the front end, it's Coach Beamer allowing us the space, allowing Rocket the space. Hey, just train, get your body right, get with the medical staff, get with the strength staff, get with Yimmy on nutrition. You know, he was very, very, very patient and there was never any heat to like, hey, we gotta get your back and this and that. It was, it was appropriate because he's established, we know what he can do. He's an established player that had to, that needed to be restored. As part of our docu-series, The Story, don't worry folks on Gamecock football with Coach Beamer. We'll have that throughout the season. You'll get a look at all things Gamecock athletics. Coach uh, Terminex is back. That's nice to honor our Terminex Pest player of the game throughout the season. Normally we pick somebody in the fall camp. Who deserves that honor this year? You know, we got a lot of guys that I'm excited about individually that have really had great uh, off seasons and then preseason camps as well. But I'm going to go with Vershawn Lee uh, on the offensive line. You know, you talk about a guy that has been a part of this program now. He's going into his fifth year in our program. Uh, you talk, you go back to last season because of the injuries that we had on the offensive line last year. Vershawn had to play center, guard, and tackle last season. He uh, is a leader on our offense and took it upon himself to make sure that our offensive line was better this year. So they've, they stayed up here this summer in the month of May when they didn't have to. They've really worked hard uh, in the summertime. He hasn't missed a, a practice or a play the entire preseason, and he's done a great job of bringing that offensive line along with him and providing great leadership and ability on the offensive line and the offense in general. Yeah, four returners. It was substantial time and that offensive line, those guys who were thrown into action a year ago, mm -hmm. now are coming with some substance behind them. Uh, he's our Terminex Pest Player of Fall Camp. Uh, congratulations, Vershawn. Hey, we're used to seeing Debo Williams come downhill at that linebacker spot and make big hits. Well, when we come back on Gamecock football with Coach Beamer, we'll go to our film room, Debo and Coach White. They get together, and they'll show you why he's always in the right spot to make those plays. Join us every Thursday at Backstreet's Grill on Divine Street for Carolina Calls from 6 to 7 p.m. Visit BackstreetsGrill.com to learn more about their unique food and drink options. The Make It Ford Summer Sales Event is on. Amazing offers and a great selection of the best-selling trucks in America for 47 years. Ford F-Series, gas, hybrid, or all-electric. These are the deals you've been waiting for. So don't wait. Make it Ford. Make it yours. Make it now. Hurry. Get 0% financing plus up to $75.50 in total savings with your trade-in on select Ford trucks. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Training a team to win takes a lot of work. Preparing for unexpected challenges, that's a whole different level. Coaching a team to trust each other is part of that preparation. You have to know who you can count on when things don't go as planned. Colonial Life's benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments. Winning is the goal in football, but in life, it's how well you're prepared for the challenges and who you trust that matters. Colonial Life, keep unexpecting. What does farm to table mean to you? Fresher, tastier food? Sitting down with family and friends at local restaurants? Sure, but thanks to South Carolina farmers and chefs, you can enjoy farm to table anywhere. That's because when you buy Certified SC, you're supporting South Carolina farmers and getting locally grown food that's perfect for whatever table. So choose local, choose fresh. It's a matter of taste. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. Because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a rain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. Wherever you go, whatever you do, when you have the power and technology of a Ford F-150 on your team, it's game on. 
For great offers or to learn more about F-150, go to buyfordnow.com and see your Carolina Ford dealer, official partner of Gamecock Athletics. The main thing here, I, I, I like to just point out how he starts football games. Uh, it's, I've got some clips in my head that I just remember, like, wow, he was ready to play. And, and the first one that I have here is this is play one of Kentucky this year. Uh, they're in a, we call this a formation to the sideline set, which is they have more receivers to the boundary. And they love having their quarterback and the quarterback lined up, quarterback and back line behind each other. And we had a feeling that this running back would get the ball first here. So, Debo, tell me. Uh, what were you thinking here on this very first play of the game? Yep, so I'm kind of in like a hip alignment. First thing I'm thinking is I'm looking at my key, which is the tight end kind of, mm -hmm. but they also had the wide receiver come in motion. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm coming through, and I see that gap open wide up, so I just try to take advantage of it. Uh, you did a great job here. So obviously our, sch our scheme here was good. We had you know TJ playing a little bit wider, yeah. and there's a big gap. If Debo, especially early in the game, if Debo sees a gap, he's going to go shoot it. And I think that's a great way. I call those cheetah tackles. You know, that's like a, uh, he just got him right by the ankle, but that counts. And uh, obviously he has great excitement there. When, with this play specifically, how tough is it sometimes? Because a lot of times when you see those massive gaps open up, yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes that's a great thing, but sometimes it's like, well, they might be trying to suck you in that yeah. way, right? So you got to make sure. Yeah, you do got to make sure, like, that could have easily been a play action right there. So um, just go with your gut and go for it. If you, if you see it, you got to go take it. Don't second guess it. And it's a lot of clues that we give our guys to understand. The stripes of these helmets, you know, we, we kind of can tell by the stripes of these helmets that it's going to be a run or play action here. And Kentucky was a big QB under the center team, so Debo knew by the coverage that we were playing, if it was a pass or play action, he was able to add in. So, How big is it to start fast like this, too? Because if this thing breaks for 12 yards on, like you said, this is play one of the game. That can be a little demoralizing. It's like, okay, hold on, we got to wake up. But if you're setting the tone on that play, that can be big. Definitely, definitely. Here's another one here against Clemson. Play one, we just got the ball because uh, obviously it was a, a fumble by um, our offense, which is unfortunate. Yeah, don't, don't remind us of that no, play, Coach. I'm not. I know, but then, <laughs> anyway, I'm letting you know that it was still the first play of the game yeah. for us on defense. So uh, one more time here. Here's a different play. That last play was a zone play. This is what we call a, a dart. It's kind of like a tackle power play. Debo's basically in the middle because of the set. He's reading just the flow here, and then he sees a down block and a puller. He knows right now that he has safety DBs beside him, so he can go blow this up, <laughs> blow this up, and sometimes make the play. Woo. Talk to me, Debo. Yeah, so I know I got Nick to the right of me, mm -hmm. so right now I'm looking to spill, but I also I wanted to kind of – my idea was to blow the, uh, <laughs> the tackle into the running back, so that's what I was trying to do to set the tempo. I wanted to set the pace for the yeah. defense. So. Great job. Great start. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. Hey Gamecock Nation, Coach Shane Beamer here. Experience the most electrifying entrance in all of college football as Cocky's Game Day Guest. Presented by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get two tickets to the Missouri game, two pregame sideline passes, plus hotel accommodations and more. 
Visit uscontest.com and enter today for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Good hard work has earned Xavier Pelzer the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the baseball team, Xavier is a sophomore sport and entertainment management major from Casey, South Carolina. This week's Academic Athlete of the Week is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. He empties the backfield now after the penalty on second down, bouncing in the pocket, got plenty of room right side, wants to crank one up. Going deep down the field to the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown, Carolina. Oh, my goodness, 50 yards out. It was a bomb, and I mean a bomb, from Lenora Sellers. Welcome back. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? A 50-yard throw from Lenora Sellers to Tyshawn Russell against Furman a year ago. Hopefully things to come this season. And uh, Coach, my gosh, I've been out of practice. Robbie Ashford and Lenora Sellers have had great fall camps, but you named Lenora as the starter this week. Yeah, we did. Uh, I told the media last week after our scrimmage that I feel like we have multiple quarterbacks that we can win football games with, and I truly believe that. Uh, we're going to go with Lenora as our starter um, going into game one. He's earned that, but Robbie's had a great uh, preseason. It's like I told Robbie, he's made our team better and uh, will continue to make us better as well. So excited about that quarterback room uh, going into 2024. Excited about Lenoris and hope to see that connection many, many times this year. <laughs> Lenoris and Tyshawn, he's another young player that we're excited about, Tyshawn Russell. Maybe not all of them will be 50-yard bombs like that, but uh, he'll continue to make plays. And he, that's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play from last season? When Pete Lembo left to become the head football coach at Buffalo after last season, Coach Beamer brought in one of the country's best special teams coordinator, Joe DeCamillis. We thought you might like to see and hear from Coach. We mic'd him up at one of the special teams practices. Woo! Woo! Beautiful! Everyone wants to eat, but few are willing to hunt. That's my favorite one for sure. Come on, fellas, stand up, check it out. Let's go. Stand up, check it out. Everybody, stand up, check it out. Great to be here, fellas. It's a damn privilege to be in this room. Everybody needs to know that. Everybody got me on that? We got to make sure that that's our mindset coming in here every single day. We're the first to the fight, the leading uh, unit of the attack every single time. We want our opponents to watch our tape, and we already have an advantage. They feel like they can't keep up. Cut it off, come back, there's a stop the ball, everybody else is fit where needed. The great Ernest Jones right there. He's a, he's a game cock right there. Tip of the spur on three. One, two, three. Tip of the spur. All right, fellas, that's it. Yep, a little mic'd up. The great thing about being mic'd up is that it's not live. You know what I'm saying? It's not live, so we're in good shape right there. Frankie, awful quiet today, man. What's the deal? Huh? Any, uh... I mean, th again, like I said, this isn't live, so you'll be okay. Yeah. Anything going on? Golly, Frankie. Whoo! I like it. And then the other thing is we want to start working some of those drops too, right? There's like one person I've been around that can do it, and that's Matt Gay. So let's see if we got somebody in here that can do it. All right? We good? Yes, I'm not talking to you, Hunter. <laughs> All right, fellas, that's it. We got a little Jody mic'd up. Oh, yeah, how about that? That's a good uh, dude. That's... Thank God it's not live, you know what I mean? Thank God it's not live. Hey, Ryan, I thought you had the weather squared away, dude. Sorry about that, Coach. I got you tomorrow. Unbelievable. If the Gamecocks record 350 yards or more on offense, go to the notifications on the Gamecock Game Day app to learn how to receive a free three-piece chicken tenders with any purchase from Hardee's after regular breakfast hours at Columbia and Orangeburg participating locations on Monday. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. Because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. 
And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a rain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. Summer won't last forever, but during Toyota's national sales event, you can make memories that will. Come on. There you go. Whoa. (laughs) Where's my mom? Just be in the moment. Right now, lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $349 a month for 36 months. That's just $349 a month on the Toyota RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. Training a team to win takes a lot of work. Preparing for unexpected challenges, that's a whole different level. Coaching a team to trust each other is part of that preparation. You have to know who you can count on when things don't go as planned. Colonial Life's benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments. Winning is the goal in football, but in life, it's how well you're prepared for the challenges and who you trust that matters. Colonial Life, keep unexpecting. Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Welcome back, Coach. With everybody dealing with more unknowns on their rosters now, opening ball games become more of a mystery than ever. Give us a Toyota key to the game for Old Dominion. Yeah, um, you nailed it. It's so many new faces for us and them. They've got a lot of new players that have joined their program. So for us, it'll be doing a great job of adjusting to anything new that they're doing this season. They've had a whole off season to get ready for us. We've had a whole uh, year to get ready for them, basically. So being able to adjust to something unexpected. And then for us, it's doing a great job of just getting our guys um, acclimated to what a game is like. You know, we're probably going to play uh, 20, I was counting it up the other day, 27 players that are going to play significant reps on Saturday that will be playing their first game in williams Bryce Stadium. Seven of them will probably be starters for us as well. So a lot of guys that are going in that stadium for the very first time, and, and uh, we need to make sure that we, we are, we're ready to play mentally and physically. That's our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. That'll do it for our preseason edition of Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer. We hope you'll join us throughout the season. A lot of challenges and opportunities. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.